Hello everyone. Today we are here again with a topic stacks in Python. So let us see that what are stacks. Stack is a linear data structure that stores items in a last in first out or first in last out manner. In Python, a stack can be implemented using various ways. However, in the class 12th curriculum, we have Python stacks to be implemented using the list. So what are stacks? So basically, if I will just show you what are stacks, let's suppose that there is a plate and then there is a plate above this. Then there is a plate above this. Then there is a plate based above this. So this is a stack of plates. Suppose that we have a book over here. Then we lay a book above this. Then there is a book above this. There is a book above this. Then this is a stack of books. So the book which we have laid at the last. So basically, generally, we take out that book first in order to take out the last book also. Suppose I want this book. So in order to take out this book, first of all, I will take out the book at the top. Then I will take out the book at the second top. And then I will take out the book which is laid at the third position. That means that we are following the last in first out method in stack. So as I told you that in class 12th, we have Python stacks using the list. So you can see here this topic. This is the curriculum. Data structure stack, operations on stack, push and pop, implementation of stack using the list. This is the topic that we will be covering in this video. So if you want to go through the curriculum, that what is the curriculum of class 12th, then you can see here, this is the class 12th curriculum. You can go to cbscacademic.nic.in and there you can see the curriculum of class 12th. And in this video, I am taking care of data structure, stacks, operations on stack, push and pop, implementation of stack using the list. So now let us see the questions based on stack. So the first question that I am implementing here. Let me write here the question for you. So this question will deal with the basic operations of stack such as adding, deleting and displaying of elements. So for this, as we have to use the list as a stack, so first of all, let us take an empty list. And here, since I will be using all the operations, adding, deleting, and displaying, so I will make it as the menu-driven program. So for the menu-driven program, I am taking here a value, a variable, in which I will initialize it with yes. So while C equals to equals to yes. So that, that means that it will run at least for the first time. So let me print the menu. So here for the first one, to add an element, For second, to 
to delete an element. And third, to display an element, display the stack. So this is the menu I have. And now let us take the choice from the user. Input, enter any number. So if choice equals to equals to one, that means that the user wants to add an element to the list. We all know to add an element to the list, we use the append function. So first of all, let us take that element from the user. A equals to input. Enter the element. And now we will append this A element to the list S. So s dot append a. So basically, you can see here that stack is nothing if we are using it as a list. So it is using the same functions which we use in the list. So in list also, to add an element, we use append function. Similarly, here also, we are using append function to add an element to the stack. Elif choice equals to equals to two. That means that this time we want to delete an element. So if we are deleting an element, so you must take care of one situation that if the stack is empty or not. If the stack is empty, then in that case, you will not be able to delete any, any element because there is no element in the stack. So inside this, the first condition that we will check is that if S equals to equals to an empty list, if it is an empty list, then we will print stack is empty. And otherwise, if it is not empty, then definitely we will pop out the element. And here we will print deleted element is. And we know that to delete an element, we used in list we used three functions one was del one was pop and one was remove so here in stack we will use pop function you will not use del or remove in pop here you will uh sorry del and uh remove yes del and remove in this and you will only use pop so here it is Elif choice equals to equals to three. That means that we want to display it. So when we want to display, so let us first of all take out the length of the stack. That what is the length? And then for i in range as in stack i have told you that the last element is popped out first that means that the last element which is entered that will be displayed first the last element will be at l minus one position as we have to go in the reverse order so we will write here minus one minus one 
So this L minus one, the first parameter L minus one means that it will go to the last element. Minus one means that it will run till zero and minus one third parameter that it will run in the reverse order. Here we will print S of I. And in case the user has entered any other number by mistake, then it will print wrong number entered. Once we finish with this, we will ask the user that if the user wants to run the menu again. Do you want to continue or not? So in case user will enter here Y, then whole menu will run again. And in case user will enter any other character apart from Y, then the user will come out of the program. Let us see and run this. Okay, so add an element, delete an element, display the stack. So let us first of all add an element. Enter the element, okay. Aman, do you want to continue or not? Yes. Once again, I will add an element. This time I will enter a number, 20. Do you want to continue or not? Yes. First of all, let me display. So it has displayed the last enter, that is 20, and then Aman. Do you want to continue? Yes. Add an element, delete an element, display the stack. This time I want to delete an element. So I will press 2. So in this case, 20 must be popped out. So deleted element is 20. Do you want to continue or not? Yes. Again, I will display. And this time only Aman will be displayed. I want to continue? Yes. Again, I want to delete the element. This time, Aman is deleted. Do you want to continue? Yes. Again, if I try to delete, it will print stack is empty. Do you want to continue or not? This time, I will press any other character and we will come out of the program. So this is how in stack, we have added an element by using the append function. We have deleted the element by using the pop function. And then we have displayed the elements of the list of the stack in the reverse order, starting from the last element till the first element. So these are the basic operations which we have used. Now we will do another question in which we will see that there we will create a stack called employee and we will perform the basic operations on stack using the list. So let us see how to do. So let us close this. So here we will create a stack called employee with employee number and employee name. And then let us see how to do the basic operations. So since the stack name is employee, so let us create an empty stack 
named as employee again c equals to y let us print the menu add an employee print delete an employee print display the employee records okay so here as we have to run it in a loop so while c equals to equals to y choice equals to int input enter your choice if choice equals to equals to 1 so if the choice is equals to equals to 1 that means that we have to add an employee record and as per the question we have two values for the record we have employee number as well as employee name so we will take both so let us take employee number enter the employee number then let us take employee name enter the employee name let us group these two values as a tuple e number comma e name and now we will append this record into the employee stack emp has been appended to employee now elif choice equals to equals to 2 that means that we have to delete and in the previous question i have told you we have to check if the stack is empty so if employee equals to equals to an empty stack we will print no record found else print deleted record is okay so first of all let us pop this as it has two values so let us take e number comma e name equals to employee dot pop and here we will print e number comma e name
and if choice equals to equals to three. So first of all, let us take the length of the stack employee. While i is greater than zero, print. So first of all, we will print the last record. So this is also one of the way that you can print. This will be this will print the last record, and then decrement this. Else, print wrong value entered. This elif has to be aligned over here. Now take the choice from the user input. Do you want to continue? Let us see. Add an employee, delete an employee, display the employee records. Okay, let, let me just close this and run this once again. Okay. So enter your choice. Number one. Add employee number E101. Employee name Ashish. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, I have written capital Y, that is why it has come out. So I will run it once again. Enter your choice. Enter employee number. Employee name. We want to continue. Let us add one more record. Do you want to continue? Yes. Display the employee records. E102 Drishti, E101 Ashish. Do you want to continue? Yes. I want to delete a record. Deleted record is E102 Drishti. I want to continue. Again, I want to delete. It has deleted E101 Ashish. I want to continue. Yes. Again, I want to delete. No record found. Do you want to continue? No. I have come out of the program. So here we can see that if the stack has two values or three values, so we will take those two or three values while appending. Then we will group together in one variable and then we will append that particular variable into the stack. While deletion, first of all, we will pop out the elements. For example, here, when employee.pop will run, two values will be popped out. First value will go to E number. Second value will go to E name. And then here, those values will be displayed. That is why this statement has been taken into consideration. And then while displaying, you can display it either ways, the way which I have done in the previous question, or you can use while also to display the records after that wrong value entered in the else and then for the for every menu driven program we started with while and then again at the last we take the consideration from the user the input from the user whether the user want to continue or do not want to continue
this is how we will create a stack like this similarly you can do the question of a book that if a book has a book number or a book author name then how will you add a book record how will you delete a book record how will you display the records so these are the similar type of questions which we can get in the board exams one of the question which came in the board exam which i will just solve over here i will just show you the question first so this is a board question a list n list contains following record as list elements city country distance from delhi each of these record that means that there is a list in which we have three parameters city country and distance each of these records are nested together to form a nested list write the following user defined functions in python to perform the specified operations on the stack named travel so the stack named is travel we have to write these two functions push element and pop element push element is taking this list as a parameter and then it will pushes a list object containing the name of the city and country which are not in india and distance is less than 3500 km from delhi so first of all let us take the first question it has given us one example that suppose that we are assuming that the nested list is this n list equals to first is first list is new york usa 11734 nepi do myanmar 3219 dubai uae 2194 london england 6693 Gangtok, India, one five eight zero. Colombo, Sri Lanka, three four zero five. So these are the lists contained in a list. That is a nested list is there, and the list name is n list. This n list we have to pass in this pop element function, and then we have to push only those records into the stack travel, which are not in India. That means that, and there are two there is uh, are two conditions not in india and distance is less than 3500 km so here the distance is more than 3500 km this will not come this will come as it is not in india and distance is less than 3500 this will also come this will not come because distance is not less than 3500 this is in india so this will also not come this will come so three records should be pushed into travel one is myanmar second is uae and third is sri lanka so let us see that how to do this question make sure that you use the stack name as travel only you use the list the function name as push underscore element and this n list only so whatever is given here use those only so let us see okay so see here that this is the n list which i have taken so this is the n list so first of all just pay attention over here this is the n list new york usa and whatever records we have just read so these are all those records that i have written over here so these are all the records and then after that i have used the function i have called the function push underscore element and i have passed the parameter n list into the function so as soon as you come to the calling of the function so when here the function is being called the compiler will go over here so you can see that there is a empty list that is travel this is a empty stack and then the list has been passed over here so this list all the all the elements have been passed to push element for i in n list so i will go to every list and here it will check i1 not in india and i2 less than 
So this New York is I zero, USA is I one, and one one seven three four is I two. Similarly, this is I zero, this is I one, this is I two, this is I zero, this is I one, this is I two, this is I zero, this is I one, this is I two, and so on. so it is checking in every every record every element that if i1 is not in india and i2 less than 3500 only then it will travel i0 and i1 as it is said that only append the city and the state into the list that is why only i0 and i1 have been added to the travel one more thing that i want you to pay attention just see here in append only one parameter is allowed however we are adding the two parameters so you can see here that what i have done i have written i 0 comma i one and i have enclosed both of them in one more big brackets of the list and converted these two parameters into the one parameter otherwise you will get an error if you will not enclose this then you will get an error because append will enclose only one argument it can take only one argument so this you need to take care otherwise it will give you the error so it has appended this and then we are printing it so let us see if this will run then i will run the second one also so run so you can see that we have printed travel so in print myanmar dubai and colombo sri lanka has come now pop element first of all let us see that what is to be done in pop what question has been asked from us in pop it pops the object from the stack and displays them also the function should display stack empty when there are no elements in the stack that means that one by one it should take out it will pop out the element it will display the element and at last it should print stack is empty okay so let us see yes so here i have defined the function pop element while length of travel print travel dot pop so when we write pop without any argument the last element is printed first this is also one of the way to pop and print the elements else print stack is empty so when everything will be done it should print stack is empty to call this i will call the function to call you all know we only write the name of the function let us see so this now this question will first run push elements it will show the result of this then it will show the result of this so you can see here that push element has given us this after that because of pop the last entered was colombo sri lanka so it has been popped out first after that it was dubai uae then it is popped out after that it was myanmar so it has been popped out and at last it has printed stack empty so this is how you can get the question in board also so this is one of the question you can go to cbse academic i will just show you the path once again so here you will go to www.cbse.gov.in 
here you will go to academic website in sample papers so here there are so many sample papers are given i have told you the question given in 2023 24 class 12th you can go to the previous year questions class 12th go to computer science go to the sample question paper and here you can find out where stack is written so here stack is written you can see the question that push element is there and pop element is there they have told you that this is the list and what you have to do so you can try the question and here the see here also three elements are there customer name phone number city stack name this status so status will be the name of the stack you will take customer name phone number city from the user or you can assume the list like this as i have already assumed the list and then you can pass that list to push element and then do the questions accordingly you can see the marking scheme also i will show you the marking scheme also like this is a sqp question paper so in this the question number is 30 so you can see here in the marking scheme go to question number 30 yes and you will see the solution also so this is the solution also has been given here also they have taken status as a empty stack then after that push element and have passed the list cast to the push element if cast 2 equals to equals to goa then it is appending only those records to the status and then it is deleting and displaying stack is empty so try out more and more questions of stacks given in the cbse sample papers all the best thank you